You're watching Eyewitness News. We're live tonight at 10 o'clock. New tonight, a remarkable recovery for a two-year-old girl. She was badly hurt when a stray bullet hit her while she was sleeping. Thanks for joining us. I'm Erica Bryant. I'm Scott, Scott Wickersham. Thank you for being with us. Little Lalian spent the week in the hospital and tonight Channel Lines Glenn Counts learned she's just like any other kid now, thankfully excited for Halloween. He is live with us with more as her whole family continues to heal from this, Glenn. Well, Scott, the uh, good news in this situation is if you didn't know this little girl had been shot to meet her, you wouldn't have any idea. A little more than a month ago, this was Leilani Kennard's reality. Bullets that flew into her bedroom, striking her and sending her to the hospital for weeks. Come on. This is her reality today, dancing and getting ready for Halloween tomorrow. I understand tomorrow you go trick-or-treating. Yeah. Yeah? What kind of candy are you going to get? Um, a hangout burger. <laughs> Leilani got out of the hospital a couple of weeks ago. I don't think she really realized what happened. We didn't really ask her if she remember what happened because, of course, she's a two-year-old. Sierra Parker is Leilani's aunt. She went to the hospital and visited her every day. She just don't know how bad of a tone it put on me, like, crying every day, worrying about how she gone process of what she went through. Two days after the shooting, police arrested Demetric McDonald. Officers say he was trying to shoot at another apartment when several stray bullets went into Leilani's bedroom. The family is thankful for all the community support they received. Um, and the prayers, because she did have a lot of people send her gifts and come see her. Um, I think the officer that helped me escort her to the hospital, he came and saw her too yeah. and brought her gifts because it was hard for him as well. Hours before Leilani was shot, she went to Carowinds for the first time. This weekend, she went back with the park picking up the tab. Did you like going to Carowinds? Yeah? These are big girl words. You, you ready to go back? Say yes. Yeah. Now, police say that McDonald fired 37 shots into that apartment complex, uh, including nine that went into the little girl's apartment. Uh, McDonald is still here in the Mecklenburg County Jail under no bond. His next court hearing is scheduled in February. Reporting live from the jail, Glenn Counts, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. She is precious, and we're glad she's doing all right. Glenn, thank you very much.